Good morning, brothers and sisters. Happy Shabbat day. I would like to greet you this morning and say good morning. I hope that you are blessed. I hope that you are feeling beautiful. Remember, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth loves you. I know you have been attacked. I know you have been trampled upon. Quite a few of you in recent, recent days. Remember, brothers and sisters, that it's not about me telling you, oh, I told you so. I, I know so, I knew so. This isn't about this. It's about us helping one another survive these attacks. Get one another through these attacks that are, remember, brothers and sisters, for years, I want to tell you something and share with you, but let, let us pray for a quick, brief moment. Heavenly Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we bow to you today. We get down on our knees and we say, Lord Jesus, we praise you. Heavenly Holy Father, we worship thee. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would deliver us from any and all evil today as we praise your glory, as we bless thy most holy, powerful name, Yeshua HaMashiach. We ask you, Father, please, for Holy Spirit guidance today. We ask you, Heavenly Holy Father, to lead us as we know that you go before us. And I know that you will lead us today to the breakthroughs that a lot of us need to make because, Father, Adonai, God of Israel, in the name of Jesus, we beg you for new oil, new wine for all, for our lamps, our human spirit is our lamps, Father. And I ask you on behalf of myself and my brothers and sisters and our, and our family members, Father, for oil, that our lamps will be filled with oil. And we know that you cannot just simply give us that oil, even though you want to, that's all you want to do is give us oil, that we must, Father, show effort, that we must come to you every day, reading scriptures every day, asking questions like small children, asking you questions regarding why you said what you said as Jesus, why you said what you said as God, the Father in an Old Testament, because your son Jesus is the only, is, is the only begotten son of God. He is also the, the word of God. For it is written, you said, that the, that the word of God became flesh and dwelled among us. If God, when Father, you speak, it is Jesus who we hear. And I pray in the name of Jesus, my, all my brothers and sisters, we finally conclude to this understanding that Jesus, this is why Jesus is, even though you are called the only begotten Son of God, you are also God in the flesh yourself. You are fully human, fully God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we praise you today. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for our electricity. We thank you for our bodies. We thank you for our hair. We thank you for our children. We thank you for every time a new godly baby is born. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for every time a parent is fighting for their child not to take the abominations. We thank you, Heavenly Father, wherever your spirit, Holy Spirit is, and your wisdom dwells inside of your wise virgins, inside of your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Gentile or Jew, we well, pray for you, my brothers and sisters, that you are protected today that you are guided by the Holy Spirit only, that you will recognize the tactics of the enemy loudly and clearly, which can only come by putting Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth first, by reading scriptures and putting Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God the Father first. For only then, only then, for Holy Spirit, Father God, I keep praying that my brothers and sisters will understand that the Holy Spirit does not speak of the devils, does not speak of the enemies, does not speak on demonic entities. It will not teach on the on the on demons or anything that is twisted, wicked, evil, or perver perverted in any shape or form against you, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all your teachings. For the one and only job of the Holy Spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that my brothers and sisters will understand is to unify their human spirit, their souls their hearts and minds to be merged fully and completely through the Holy Spirit with you, Father Adonai, God of Israel, through your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as our intercessor who died on the cross for our sins and the sins of the world. You have called us, each one of us, by name. We are preparing for the wedding feast in the name of Jesus. And you have been invited, my brother, my sisters, you have been invited. And how grateful we are that you are part of the large group of people that has been so privileged as to be invited 
to the wedding supper of the Lamb, the Lamb being our Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name above all names. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for teaching us to how to be compassionate. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for showing us this day, Father God, in the name of Jesus and our children, how to live their lives righteously, how to seek you, Lord Jesus. You said, seek the Lord, all of you humble of the Lamb. You who do what He commands, seek righteousness and seek humility. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. For we seek you, Lord Jesus. We seek you. We are your future leaders. We are the Father, the ones who walk the narrow path. And Yeshua, you told us that only few, for the narrow is the path. And only few will find it. And this is true. For many who think that they are wise virgins, they are not wise virgins. But not all is yet lost. If you know... You have repented of all of your sins. Then you know it is impossible to sin for you. Because if you truly are zealful about the one and only Lord who has saved your soul, your spirit, and your flesh for now from eternal domination. For Jesus paid, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. For it is written, brothers and sisters, for your soul, your spirit, and your flesh. I believe it's in the book of John. Somewhere between chapter 10 and 14. Please read those chapters, brothers and sisters. Read the chapter on how also in the book of Colossians chapter 2, how Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has disarmed the devils. How he has disarmed the enemy. The enemy, my brother, my sister, is disarmed spiritually. So don't speak. Don't speak profanities. Don't speak if you are being taken out of your square. Don't give the devil any kind of fuel because that's when you are transgressing yourself against the covenant that you are under however the covenant cannot be ever ever broken the holy spirit will never leave you the holy spirit will never depart from your body even when you are disobedient brothers and sisters remember the holy spirit will be there till the judgment day whether that holy you your body will be transfigurated and your body will be changed in an instant, in a twinkling of an eye, and you will go in a so-called rapture, harpazo, in the coming years, because we're gonna be here, brothers and sisters. Why? Because we, let's remember, brothers and sisters, that from Jews comes salvation. If Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is a Jew, and of course he is, and we love our Messiah, Jesus, Remember, if from Jews comes salvation, then we, brothers and sisters, glory be to Jesus, we must pray for to be unified with our brothers and sisters who are the Jews. We must pray as they are prosecuted so greatly in Israel, as our brothers and sisters Christians are so prosecuted in the land of Siam, the land, the so-called China is the land of Siam. Whether Pakistan, India, African countries, predominantly Muslim countries, whether we're speaking Asian, Although not as much so there other than Africa and North, North Korea. We must pray for all the satanically, satanically prosecuted children through psychopathic resources of humanity. Through agents of Satan that targeted so-called individuals. You are targeted because you are most likely God's chosen. And God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has a calling on your life. And Satan knew that. Satan could see the lie that you were born. Satan could see the protection that you are under throughout your lifetime. But our own sinfulness, our own inability, our own arrogance, and most of all, ignorance, not knowing Jesus Christ of Nazareth as God, as our Lord and Savior, who died on the cross for our sins and the sins of the world, our parents being in the same situations, if you did, we didn't have godly parents, or at least even if they were so-called good people, if they were not praying parents, you were in danger. Many of you have been born in good families, but they are, by our Father God Almighty standards, we all must walk in accordance to what He commands, in accordance to the Ten Commandments, or you will go to hell for breaking that's what it means to be antichristic. In the Catholic Church, brothers and sisters, I pray that you'll understand as I myself came out of Catholicism because I was born in my mother. It's my mother's religion. There's idolatry. There are people are breaking one of the Ten Commandments, the First Commandment, right off the bat, the moment they enter that church. Why? 
For Jesus teaches to pray, be to confess your sins behind the closed doors, in your house, not to the priests. In the churches where there's idolatry, whether Orthodox Christianity or Catholicism, there is idolatry. There's statues to which people go and pray to. God forbids that. God said, I am a jealous God. Worship me and only me alone. You can pray to Father Adonai by calling him Holy Father in the name of Jesus or Jesus just using alone the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name above all names for he was born Emmanuel, which means Adonai is with us, God is with us. To know one's name, to know to know God Almighty's name, it doesn't mean that you learn his Hebrew version of God Almighty's name and you saved and you know how to write it. That's foolishness. That's complete foolishness. Anyone who teaches you that has no idea who God is, has never, has never spoken with God the Father or Jesus Christ the Son. For first and foremost, as I said, since Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Word of God, when you speak to God the Father, you cannot address God the Father unless you come, God said Almighty Himself in the New Testament. Through Jesus Christ of Nazareth first. God will not listen to you. God will not listen to your prayers, especially at the beginning. If you need to be saved, yes, God will have mercy, especially when he called you. The reason why you felt compelled to go and bow down on your knees, those of you who are Jews or any other religion, you know how you became interested in, in Christianity or Jesus Christ of Nazareth from the beginning is because you were called by God, the Father himself. God, the creator has called you by name. You are his. He has called you. He's activating you for your duty on earth. That's where you must all come to do the yet Father God knew. Jesus Christ the Son said so. For many are called, yet few are chosen. Why? For many are chosen, but only few complied. Because you see your neighbors traveling. Because you see your neighbors running after dollars. You see your neighbors working hard. You work hard. And you want to be just like everybody else. You want to wear clothes like just like everybody else. You want to have two and a half children. You want to have beautiful home. You want to... Brothers and sisters, none of this matters if you don't have Jesus Christ. But if you are with God the Father and you keep Him satisfied, God says even your enemies, He will put them at peace. For they will come in. They come in one way, but they're going to scatter seven ways in the name of Jesus. And I pray that if you need deliverance, my brother, my sister, let us pray on this channel, in this little ministry. Glory be to Jesus. This week, these coming days, you need deliverance. You need to let us all pray, whoever you are. I will be praying for us as a group and for our children in particular, no matter what their age is, and for our elderly. For many feel so unloved. Many have been d d just completely dropped by their family members. They lack compassion. They lack generosity. But we as children of God, we must not be discouraged. This is why you were born and called for such a time as this. For the one who died on a cross for your sins and the sins of the world, he has paid for your sins. Why would you not want to repent of your sins and just proclaim him as your Lord and Savior and be free of this bondage? For the devil cannot come, cannot hold you accountable for anything anymore. Because you are under the covenant of the blood of Jesus. You are a new creation. And as a new creation who loves Jesus Christ, who loves his precepts, who loves his true to one and only teachings, no other teachings, no extra curriculums, no extra topics, only what Jesus was teaching, that's who Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. And his Ten Commandments and God the Father, for Jesus says, I quote, you know the Son, you know the Father. To know Jesus means to have one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with him. To pray to him, to know him, to read those scriptures and ask questions like a small child every day. Because if you're not praying and doing this every day by now, you, you well, my sister, my brother, you don't know Jesus. You are not hearing from Jesus. You are, and even if you do this every day also, then do you test the spirits? Then there's more. We must test the spirits. Yeshua said, my people perish from the lack of knowledge. That involves not testing the spirits. The one and only test that was direct Father God Almighty's command of First John chapter 4, verse 1 to 3, where when you get that vision or even when you perceive Jesus Christ himself standing in front of you in your bedroom, 
and he's trying to give you a message or someone who looks like an angel from Adonai, God of Israel, Jesus Christ, the son. The test is an absolute necessity. Oh, you will perish, my brothers and sisters. You will perish because if you will accidentally give yourself over your attention, your mind, your heart over to a fallen angel who is, by the way, forbidden to appear in your rooms. But that does not mean that they might not try. They might try also through astral projections, through whatever their witchcraft is called. I don't know and I don't care. Neither should you. For the Holy Spirit, I repeat, only speaks on Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and only glorifies Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why. That can never change. Holy Spirit also gives us warnings to come. But I repeat, brothers and sisters, as Yeshua himself was teaching, it is gentle. It is gentle. It is meek and humble. Think here, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Brothers and sisters, God bless you, all of you, in the name of Jesus. I wanted you to know that I pray for all of you every single day. I think recently I wasn't feeling too good. I survived an, an extremal, extremal, extremely violent attack, physically violent attack this past week, which God, God delivered me from. Not only from that, but there will be horrific judgments against those enemies coming from it, because as we forgive our enemies, these wicked, evil, twisted humans, please pray for them. The more we will pray for our enemies and bless them. So bless you, enemies, brothers and sisters. Forgive them. Do not hold a grudge. But remember that behind them are principalities and powers. And these principalities and powers do comprehend and know that they're subject unto the name of Jesus. That Satan and everything under Satan is subject to the name of Jesus. For Jesus Christ of Nazareth paid for your soul, your spirit, and your flesh for it is written. Again, I've been always giving you, brothers and sisters, a majority of the time, all the verses today brothers and sisters i will only give you a few please look those verses up yourself jesus christ of nazareth is guarding your garden with the holy spirit inside of you holy spirit is the spirit of jesus christ a spirit of prophecy so brothers and sisters be joyful rejoice for the lord jesus is coming very soon but very soon in earthly terms is not Glory be to Jesus. Could be still more few, quite a few more years. You will see the two witnesses. You will see right, right before the rapture, the so-called harpazo as going to heaven. You will see the dead in Christ rise from the dead. You will see them coming out of the ground in their new bodies because there, those are the dead in Christ must rise first. We did not see that, brothers and sisters. Remember that Satan is counting on the fact that you will now fall into depression because you don't want to deal with your personality traits, because you don't want to deal with the fact that, that you, you want rapture out of here. He will play on your mind. This is why I just this is why I told you, brothers and sisters, there is a way of doing things right here. If you will obey wisdom, if you will listen to obedience of the Holy Spirit, you will survive these coming days. This is wisdom speaking to you. Wisdom is my one of my blessings, one of my beautiful gifts of the Holy Spirit or through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Yeshua Jesus, for all of our Holy Spirit gifts. Thank you, Father Adonai, God Almighty, for all the gifts you bless us with. But don't be confused, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how much you think you may know, remember you are you forever will be more be you gonna be forever molded and learning so be willing to learn be moldable be teachable a discerning person takes will take a rebuke my brother my sister you know that that if i'm speaking to you you're not going to be upset you're not going to be hostile to this message because you know you're listening to a fellow sister a fellow brother you're not going to be upset because you're my brother in christ and you know you, you know the one and only that i'm speaking about are my husband your husband to be we're all his brothers and sisters for the sister bride of jesus christ is telling you today my beloved brethren that i am blessed with wisdom and father is sending me out every now and then to pass on the message pass on the warnings to make you aware of the tactics of the enemies and god is speaking he will not give you further instructions if you are omitting obedience to the basic of the basics orders like testing of the spirits through the testing of the spirits my beloved brother and if you don't know that you will also very quickly in fact learn not only to discern the spirits of god and the holy spirit when he's speaking in your mind 
or in your heart because Holy Spirit occupies your hearts first and foremost, but also your minds. So when the Holy Spirit enters our bodies, it takes over your heart and your mind. For it is written, please look up the verse. It is a fact. The enemy must come uh, comes out of us. This is why appropriate initial repentance or as you walk first admitting that you are a sinner, asking for, for, for forgiveness, for the gift of grace, for we are saved by grace through faith, right? A discerning person when it's corrected will take the correction, will thank you. I thank you when you correct me. Because often it comes from not inability. If I don't know something, I would never teach on it to begin with. That is forbidden. But I'll tell you, and or I will immediately tell you, brothers and sisters, I heard such and such. If I'm addressing a certain specific topics that I know are being discussed in a church or on social platform, and I'm not on any other social platforms, just YouTube. I never been on any other social platforms. Maybe almost 20 years ago, there was one other equivalent of YouTube, but that's long gone. I think, I don't even know if that was, no, that was not equivalent of YouTube. What is it called? It doesn't matter. I wasn't there very long. Point being brothers and sisters, I'm here because I want to share with you my experiences. I want to share with you who Yeshua Jesus Christ of Nazareth is first and foremost. And because of, of being in, of the different interceptions that the enemy has caused in my life, as he has caused them in your life, you're not better than me. You know, different than me. You've been intercepted. And if you don't know that you've been intercepted, I'm telling you, you have been intercepted. If you yourself are kidding yourself, if you are, if you want, if you, for example, brothers and sisters you have came, came out of the world and now you are just getting ready to go back into the world and you're planning your 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 career you're planning on buying a bigger house better this better that if you already have that income no no problem but if jesus christ of nazareth is not first in all of this and 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 that thinking worldly earthly thinking has taken over your mind the devil has already intercepted you if you challenge yourself not to watch TV and you did it for a week, uh, and but then you went back to it, I'm not saying you can. Today we have apps through on television where you can watch sermons on television. So tell a lie vision tells you lies. That's that's the name of the tell a lie vision. It tells you lies. It's a mind control device. It's it's borderline witchcraft to me. But again, it's not, of course it isn't. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, if you know history, back in the day, there was something called black mirrors. Do you know what they were used for? The sulfur matrix that is in Isaiah chapter 8, and don't ever study this. But sulfur matrix that we, is invisible to our human eye. When Jesus said, says to Satan, isn't this a brand plucked out of fire? Or I saw Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. When he gives us our full power and authority over, over the enemy, over all scorpions and serpents, and over all the power of the enemy. Luke 10, 17 to 20. And then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, uh, chapter 10, that speaks over the veil, uh, veil over all creation. Kind of like a curtain that, yes, the enemy holds on to it, but our Father God, Jesus Christ the Son, holds on to it first and foremost. Do you understand, my beloved brothers and sisters? It is invisible to our eye. So look up a molecule of sulfur, and that will give you a better understanding of what you're dealing with, because it is it glows bright green color, and that's what it should look like. Okay, that's the veil over all creation. That's where every unclean spirit on earth, whether in the water or on earth, to not all the way to firmament. It does not know, but only to the level where Satan is in second heaven or was in second heaven is, excuse me, he still is in second heaven. That's how far it goes. No, nothing above it goes. Okay. That veil is over, has infiltrated our creation. This was the result of Adam and Eve, carnal, not sin. But Satan also causing first and foremost later a, a rebellion against God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son. And he was casted down from, from heaven down to hell. And then he was casted down to the earth. But he 
This is why you have, because he's so twisted, he's so wicked and evil, and hell was created for fallen angels, for Satan, and those who create rebellion. That's how the earth is overlaid. This is why God has made all unclean spirits as evil spirits are invisible to us. It is too grotesque for you, for us humanity, created in God's image to look at them, to see them. This is why you must fight and any and all manifestations in your house, against your house, against your children, against your family, with the name of Jesus, by quoting scriptures, not my brothers and sisters, your own words. For you are the blossoming lampstand. For you must turn the battle at the gate as wisdom is commending us to do. She commanded us to turn the battle at the gate. You shall be rewarded for it. You need to be strengthened. Of course, it's not just you doing it. It's God the Father, Jesus, through Jesus Christ, the Son, through the Holy Spirit, who will do it with your arms, with your outstretched right arm. God Almighty will lift you up out of the, that merry boog. He will approach you from the snares of the enemy. He will break those snares for you in the name of Jesus. Overall, remember the enemy has been disarmed and wisdom teaches us how undeserved curses do not stand. They will not flourish. They will not sprout. Yet witchcraft is very real. We know that. But remember, give witchcraft no power. Why? Because the enemy... What the witches out there who cross over to allegedly Christianity teach us wrong. They teach you, I bind you in the name of Jesus against my face and against this little detail and this little detail. No details. We don't learn as children of God on witchcraft. We don't learn on demons and who they are or their names and their principalities and powers. We simply know to put on the full armor of God. We know to walk into repentance. And that's what we do. Period, brothers and sisters. So I beg you, brothers and sisters, obey. Obey as you read the scriptures, all the different orders that God the Father has left us through His Son, Jesus Christ the Son. Obey them, brothers and sisters. Be still and know that He is God. If you're trying to hear Jesus, remember, if you're trying to hear God, my Jewish brothers and sisters, you're going to hear Jesus anyway because He is the Word of God. Do you understand? You cannot skip Yeshua and get to God the Father. Whenever answer you will receive, it is the love of Jesus Christ that will melt your heart, that will convince you in spirit to, that you have made the right decision coming out of your humanly organized religions. That Jesus Christ, Father Adonai, God of Israel, did not create to know best what your spiritual rights are over evil are on earth as a human being and what the blood of Jesus covenant has done for us Jews or Gentiles on earth or whoever you are, whoever you are. You're listening to this right now with a purpose, with a reason. God has called you. Answer the call, my sister, my brothers, for many who have been called have just fallen away because the moment Satan has attacked you, the moment Satan has increased spiritual warfare against your flesh and you suffer damages in the house, you suffer damages to your body. Yes, my body has aged in the past 10 years, 10 years alone, at least 20, 30 years in some spots, no doubt. I have no feeling in my upper right thigh at all. And, but that is a whole other situation. Injuries vary. But guess what? They didn't kill me. They tried and many times and they cannot kill you because if God has put a call uh, calling on your life, has anointed you to do something very specific, and brothers and sisters, anyone with the Holy Spirit who truly loves Jesus Christ of Nazareth can prophesy because, again, Holy Spirit is a spirit of prophecy. So if God will see that you strive to know him, that you strive to know his son, Jesus, he will make you so courageous like nobody else on earth. You will be doing, you will be gr doing greater works, greater deeds with the latter rain that is being poured out right now in the name of Jesus. For you want it, I pray in the name of Jesus and everybody on my channel. Everybody continue praying for your lost family members, for your unawakened family members, family members in other religions, idolatrous religions. For we, Father, we pray for them all to come out of those idolatry that they don't know that they're in. They, they think we are in error because we don't go to church. They go to church, but what kind of church? Human organized church. You're going to go where Satan resides in Vatican, where the Pope wears fallen angel with arms crossed as an X. Who is that? That's the fallen angel, Satan, Samael. 
That's not Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And guess, and guess who they call Jesus in Vatican? Even though they show you pictures and they tell you he's of our Messiah, the one who died on the cross. They want to come out and tell you their lie that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Satan himself. Remember that Satan himself will be the Antichrist, the Adonikam, that, will, that the Jews, are, our Jewish brothers and sisters, will fall for wrongly. We must pray against that, my brothers and sisters. And we must pray that you will not fall for that wicked, evil spirit of Adonikam. So when something appears in your room or in your house and it's manifesting, you're going to use the name of Jesus. You're going to pick up that Bible. And if you don't have an also have a pocket Bible yet, you're going to go out and buy it today. You're going to order it today. Pocket Bible. You must carry it with you everywhere. So if you're going to have to deliver someone from evil, if you're going to see someone acting foolishly on the street, remember you represent god's kingdom on earth you are entitled this is your inheritance do you understand this earth is your inheritance domain over the earth power and authority has been given to lord jesus christ of nazareth as god of this earth matthew 28 20 but humanity adam and eve this has never changed not under the old covenant or the new covenant domain over the fishes of the sea over the land over the fowls of the air over the animals over any any kind of crawling thingy Insects, brothers and sisters, any animals? Remember, has been always granted and will be granted to God's children. God's children. And in the end of days, God's children will be those who truly obey Him. The children of disobedience never will possess the earth. The deed to the earth, the deed to the land is in the Ark of the Covenant. And it will be so, brothers and sisters, in the soon year, few years to come from now on. When the Ten Commandments will be pulled out of the Ark of the Covenant. And with the help and assistance of the four angels that guard the Ark. That Shiloh, that the messenger, God's messenger, will tell us what, what it means. What law we as children of Adonai, God of Israel, under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The whole earth is under all evil spirits. And all spirits, animal spirits, water kingdom, any kind of kingdom on earth is under as a spirit. Under the covenant of the blood of Jesus. They know who their God is. They know how this earth was created. And it was created by God the Father, who is number one, first and foremost. But right underneath of him is Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is God of this earth, for it is written. This is why Jesus is also Alpha and Omega, the beginning and an end, as also Holy Father or God the Father, Aleph and Tav in Hebrew. Remember, Yeshua asks us to him who overcomes that he will give us a white stone, that he on the stone he will write us, that he will write a new name, which no one will know except the one who receives that stone, right? As it is written in Revelation 2 17, to the one who, who overcomes, he will make you a pillar in the temple of our God, right? To, to the one who overcomes, we must, in other words, in the book of Revelation, for all the churches, seven angels, and in those seven churches, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was asking us to overcome to be an overcomer to overcome what does it mean to be an overcomer it means brothers and sisters to continue on listening and of being obedient remaining obedient to god's promises to god's teachings under the covenant of the blood of jesus christ of nazareth only and i know that you can do this and i know that you're doing your best and i know that you are the wise virgin and if you think that you are not a wise virgin and if there's a chance that you have strayed away from the narrow path and you are at the wide gate to destruction or you've been accidentally following after a false prophet, false teacher, all you have to do, my brother, my sister, repent of it. That's all you have to do is repent of it. Repent of it, please. Repent of it. Repent of it and God will forgive you and God will make it so that you, my brother, my sister, you will, you will do even greater works, greater deeds than Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself has ever done. We are children of God who pray for peace every single day. God, Jesus wants to lead you by still waters and he wants to restore your soul today. He leads you only in a path of righteousness for the sake of His most holy, powerful name. 
So even though you walk through the darkest valley of the shadows of death, you shall fear no evil, for he is with you. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is with you. All of you who have been satanically, ritualistically assaulted and abused, I pray for you, brothers and sisters, pretty much every day. You're always forever in the thoughts of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son. I promise you, He will avenge you. I promise you that this vengeance will be poured out upon the wicked like no others, and they will come unexpectedly because God has commanded all of them to leave us alone in the name of Jesus. He said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, 5. So reside in the shadow of the Most High God because only there you will find rest in the, in the shadow of the Almighty. Read Psalm 91, read Psalm 59, read Psalm 23, which, by the way, you are listening to in the background. God is preparing the table in the presence of your enemies. He's going to anoint your head with his holy anointing oil so your cup can overflow. So goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of your life forever and ever and ever. For just by believing on Jesus Christ of Nazareth and what he is has you crossed over from death to life. But following in his footsteps precisely what you don't know remember where there is th those who believe on lord jesus christ of nazareth will never ever be condemned by us his children and by god the father or jesus christ the son and god forbid never ever of course the holy spirit holy spirit his job is to bring you back on the narrow path is to bring you back out of these addictions is to bring you out of that merry book out of that witchcraft out of these post demonic possessions to overcome them that's what the Holy Spirit's job is. Allow yourself to be guided out of it. Take instruction, my brothers, my sister. Take instruction. So don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. If you felt some fear, pray against fear. Because we as children of God, if you will allow that Holy Spirit to take you over your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, as Holy Spirit will do, your DNA, literally, it will be taken over your flesh, head to toe, taken over. No matter what they do to your flesh, brothers and sisters, Jesus says, don't, don't be afraid of what they, the, what they can do to your flesh. Be afraid of the one who not only can destroy the, kill the flesh, but kill the soul, the spirit also. So don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged for the Lord, our God, Adonai, God Almighty. Jesus Christ, the Son, will, is personally going ahead of you right now. He's working out all the little very, very variables of the situation to assist you, my brothers and sisters. He, all God's promises prove always, always true. So let us go into the house of the Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, on the forefront of our lives, minds, bodies, soul, spirits, guiding us. So be on guard for yourselves and for all the flock that the Holy Spirit has appointed you to as overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Acts 20, 28. The whole church, I repeat, has been purchased, my brothers and sisters. And we are commended to judge a righteous judgment. We are commended if you are an overcomer of a particular situation or a topic, God will be sending you to your brothers and sisters or you will be coming across for them on purpose so you can correct them sharply, but still with compassion, but sharply. There's no condemnation in the Holy Spirit. There's no condemnation of any kind in Jesus Christ the Son. So remember, whenever anyone is trying to put you down because you are educated, because you have two PhDs, because you are you are or are still a corporate lawyer and you're coming out of that 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 worldliness, uh, listen, whatever your next calling will be, I'll tell you that much. You're not gonna be making nowhere near the same amount of money, that's for sure. But because Jesus said that the rich, the very wealthy, it did, it's, not, it's not that they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. He said that it's easier for a camel, but it's equivalent of that basically, because it can happen. It can, but it's God, Jesus was teaching it. In other words, it is highly, highly unlikely. Why? Because Jesus was teaching it is easier for a camel to, to get through the needle the, the little hole of the needle as for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven so i guess jesus was teaching us after all i'm sorry that the rich will not enter the kingdom of heaven 
So those of you who are rich or you follow after these very wealthy ministries and you are still involved there with those ministries for because of your children, because of children after school programs, weekend programs, trips, excursions, but they're not teach you about the mark of the beast. They do not teach you the narrow path. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. These people don't know Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They know a different Jesus. They know Jesus that doesn't exist. The any omitting speaking the truth, omitting proclaiming the truth is also called lying by omission because you cannot possibly, God will not put you in power, brothers and sisters, to open up a ministry for his children, for his church, and then such person will be put in power by God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, not to teach the truth. We are living in a first open seal. It just opened. The rider on a white horse, equivalent of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth symbolically, the rider on a white horse with a bow, no arrows, is and always was someone good. So in this case, our Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But this time, as I was teaching you, brothers and sisters, in other videos, it is Shiloh. It is the angel of the church of Philadelphia. It is it is the person of Isaiah 28. It is the person of Isaiah 49. It is the person of the book of Esther. It is a woman. And many people will not like it because God is doing a new thing. This is why God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, Holy Spirit are teaching me, brothers and sisters. Be aware of the evil spirit of condemnation and judgment. Because when God is doing a new thing, remember, He's attempting and He will put Eve back in the garden with Adam where they belong. Meaning us as humanity. We are returning to our original to God's original creation as an earth and as a human body, whatever this was originally, before it became so devoured by sin, because before it became, we became aware of good and evil. Today, how many brothers and sisters, I see you. God says, come and dwell with me. Come dwell in my love. They go seeking after the devil's tactics. They go, they think they're eating up, telling, lying, Majority of them not knowing, they say that Jesus is teaching them through the Holy Spirit about the about how the enemy's plans, about the aliens, about topics of aliens, about demonic agendas. Are you kidding me? A warning is a warning. Such and such is coming. There's no need to discuss demons or demonic agendas. Jesus will direct you to very specific words. You will literally hear them in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind. But you're not going to hear words. It, that can happen too, but it's, as I said, Father chooses how He chooses to communicate with each one of us. It could be a variety of things. So this is why I can only tell you how He communicates with me. I don't hear words, but He, certain things will be very, very repetitive. But then I see the enemy always competing with God the Father because He will pick up on it very fast. And then they're trying to often mimic because they think this is how I communicate. That is not how we communicate. We do not go following after numbers, after strong score coordinates. That's foolishness. That's ridiculous. If I go look up a certain word in Hebrew, why Hebrew? Because God's language is Hebrew language, not Greek. Greek was created by humans. It's imperfect language. And it has an agenda in it, agenda against Christianity, against God's children, against the blood of Jesus, against Jesus Christ, the son, the God of this earth. And I teach on that also. I haven't done the teaching in a while. How Heavenly Father, Jesus, Jesus Christ, the son through the Holy Spirit has revealed to me how Satan had an agenda in the Greek language and its creation through the humans through which this language was created, brothers and sisters. Remember. Strong score coordinates number following. It is only after later when you're looking certain things up and you are maybe like I the other day misheard a vowel and the word had a completely different meaning. I waited three to four days. I think almost it was four days this week because it was yesterday. So yeah, it was yesterday was Friday. Yeah, it was four days to receive com confirmation and another and another. And I prayed every day. 
until finally I was like, wait a minute, I never look up these words. Let me go look them up. And I saw the difference that the difference was just one letter, a vowel, but it unfortunately it meant a whole different thing. And that's how father will teach me. And that that's, for example, also only in those cases after I already know the message, but in cases of very specific names, first, last names, very specific things, when multitude of languages are, are passed on, and pronunciation is different. We, Father, you will utilize anything and everything. But testing the spirits is number one. And with this, I'm going to end this recording. Remember, brothers and sisters, to worship the Lord your God and only serve him, as it is written in Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Because God loves his church, God loves his bride of Christ. So enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name today as it is written in Psalm 100 verse 4. Today, brothers and sisters, please go read Psalm 100. And I think after Psalm also, I think it's 99 or 98, uh, uh, Psalms uh, for Shabbat day. Please go read scriptures for Shabbat day. We are all on Shabbat day under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whether you're Jew or Gentile or whatever religion you came from, you are no, no longer part of the other religion. You are a follower of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, brother or sister, and you, you will survive this. You will overcome this. You are an overcomer already through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spiritually, my brothers and sisters, you are perfect. You are perfection, but we must strive to be holy. We must be holy for as he is holy. And today you will take a communion. And this is another reason why I'm recording this, to remind you to please take a communion. And remember, no servial work. No servial work. If you want me to do a video on, on, on a covenant of the blood of Jesus or what servial work is, or constitutes I will be glad to do this recording please give me a shout out in a in a comment section share your experiences in a comment section I pray that this helps you in some sort of way I know that a lot of messages are repetitive but as God the Father said he cannot possibly other people are asking father said for example for you know extra like I, some time ago I'll give you an example brothers and sisters father sending me to a lady to uh, to, to not intercede for her at that day, but basically to gently correct her, but, but promptly, because she's an avid believer in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but she's not moldable, not, or not as moldable as Father would like her to be. And she thinks she knows it all, because she thinks she's just, you know, a holy person. And we are, we are. You do what God tells you to do, don't be confused. You are a holy person. You have been set aside by God. And uh, then within that group, there's even more, there's, again, there's a group of people, like a group of people, a few people, like two witnesses, like Shiloh, like seven angels of the seven churches and the 144,000 that are even further trained for other purposes. And those people are even going to be more holy. That's because they will be of a different rank. And that's the whole point. Don't think of ranks. Don't think of this, what your uh, rewards are. This is a race. Right now, we all just want to survive this. Right now, we all, we none of us wants demons in our house, because especially for no reason. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, the enemy attacks for no reason. So don't give him a reason. Don't give him a reason. Because the reason, for, in my case, is often I simply woke up and I'm breathing. I'm speaking to you. I'm teaching you the narrow path. That's they think that's the reason. No, that's my that's my inheritance. That's my that's part of the blood of Jesus covenant. That is my responsibility and no one can attack me for that. But if God forbid they will, Father God will deal with them because this is my legal right to God the Father that I must obey him. Many out there are teaching and they're teaching foolishness. They're not teaching of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They're teaching a different Jesus. Know the difference and test the spirits. Test the spirits. So going back to this woman. The woman is a beautiful woman of God. Awesome. But for example, she was, she keep, kept on asking God the Father in the name of Jesus to give her a new weapon, mighty weapons, powerful weapons. And... This is this is a long time ago. Like so, for me, a long time ago on Earth is a year ago is a very long time spiritually, a very long time ago. So 
human a year ago, probably even more. I write to this lady, I said, with all the respect, beloved sister, I have a message for you. This is what Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, is saying to you. And basically, uh, it was one or two sentences in a sense that, uh, please, first and foremost, show God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, that you are embracing the weapons that he gave us. Uh, uh, he, God, Jesus Christ the Son, basically has equipped us with everything we need to survive this, uh, to survive spiritual warfare on earth already. He has given you the name above all names. He's given us the full armor of God. He has given you... You, we must, it is us, we as children of Adonai, God of Israel, brothers and sisters, we must strive to know and study how to use them, what to say, when to say it, what to quote, when we're being attacked, as opposed to our own words. Our own words are good when we express ourselves, when we praise and worship, but there's nothing like the word of God. That word is so highly anointed. It separates brothers and sisters, soul, spirit from the body. It can rip it out. It can take the spirit off the face of the earth and thrust it into hell. It can, it can brothers and sisters, separate the bone from the, 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 from the marrow. In other, I can, you can do DNA extractions, literally. You can do DNA extraction just with the word of God. Believe in that power. Believe, not hoctily, not arrogant that it's your power. That's the power of Jesus Christ, God Almighty in you. Anything good in us is from Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is of God the Father, through the Holy Spirit. Nothing good that we do is our own. Oh, I'm so talented. Oh, I have so... Yes, I have a lot of gifts through the Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus says, I give you the power. So yes, that in that case, I can say, I have the power to tread on scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy because Jesus, God of, God of this earth, give me that power as he's given it to you. So in this case, you can say that. God knows whether you are hockey or puffed up or not. And we know that Jesus Christ, the Son, or our God Almighty, He will never ever reward any puffiness, any any hoctiness, not spiritual, not physical, not 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 anything that is hokti, that exalts against wisdom of God, against the Holy Spirit, against Jesus Christ the Son, against God Almighty. That's 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 a demonic quality or it's an egotistical quality for which, for example, Satan fell from from heaven. Being, however, confident is a you must be not having fear, being confident in what the Holy Spirit will make you to be. But you must understand that this is by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power and mercy and grace of our beloved Lord and Savior, who gave us full power and authority over all scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. So nothing shall by any means hurt you. Rejoice not that all spirits of this earth are subject unto you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb's book of life that's in heaven, not on earth. Scriptures is not the book of life, brothers and sisters. Like the code searcher Jonathan teaches. That is an antichristic teaching. He is an antichrist. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And anyone who follows him or gives him money and supports that antichristic ministry in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Brothers and sisters, God will turn up. God is increasing all the judgments as God is in, is expecting. All while loving, hugging, kissing each one of us. He wants you, God, brothers and sisters, to, to step up to the plate and care, ask to carry the cross and carry that cross with Jesus. Ask to carry the cross. Start picking people in your neighborhood, in your families, in, in some, or outside of your families who are homeless who are maybe drug addicted who are who need surgeries who need healing who elderly whoever babies children who are satanically satanically ritualistically abused start praying for them intercede for them that you've been granted that power i see people who are literally just sitting there waiting for the rapture it, it is disgusting it is vileness People are talking only about a rapture, wanting to save their flesh. What did Jesus say? You're going to try to save your flesh? He, you will lose it. You will lose it. 
Do you now understand why that agenda with the rapture topics is so prevalent by the witches, by the warlocks on the social media? Because you, 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 a lot of brothers and sisters are so foolish. They're eating, even though they, even if they know that it's a lie, they'll go and listen because they like listening to it. Outrageous, outrageous. Thus, you opening, you showing the devil who watches you already, sifting you already. That, that you know what? She prefers delusions. She prefers lies. She prefers to hear delusions. Look, she likes us better than Jesus Christ, the Son, and His teachings. Is this what you, what some of you want? No, of course not. But remember, if you're gonna keep listening to antichristic people. And it's not your job. It's not, you're not being sent out. God knows who he sends out, who he does, who he doesn't. Father God, Jesus Christ, the Son knows who works for him, who is his child versus who isn't. Do you know, brothers and sisters, that Father showed me through Jesus Christ, the Son, how even in the biblical codes, God has, for those who hate him, who are hate his son Jesus or want to keep Jesus Christ of Nazareth as the only begotten son of God and God in the flesh of this earth, how he has laid out and snares, God snares, God almighty snares for them in the scriptures, in the biblical codes. How recently father has showed me how there's an imposter that's going to pose as God's uh, alleged God's chosen, God's anointed after Moses or the Elijah type. The one that will be posing as Shiloh, that there will be an, it's, it's an antichristic spirit on him. I already know his location. We know everything and, and, and what and what. And he is in a group of people that are, majority of them are antichristic also. They do grain offerings to God the Father, Shabbat day. When God Almighty himself, even under, through David, under the old covenant says, I will not accept a grain offering from you. What I need is a meek and humble, contrite heart. Because it's an abomination unto him. It was an abomination then and it's an abomination unto him, especially now today when Jesus Christ the Son died on the cross for your sins and the sins of the world. You're going to go do grain offering? Who did grain offering originally? Who? Look, do you know the story of Cain and Abel? Does this ring a bell? Who was Paul doing grain offerings? Was Jesus Christ of Nazareth doing grain offerings to God the Father? Brothers and sisters, don't follow after foolish people, satanic people, who under the umbrella of an old covenant are 100% Satanists, or they say that they're Jews and they're not. They're of the synagogue of Satan. Do not be, do not fall for them. Do not fall for the misuse of God's most holy names, whether it's as Jesus, whether it's as Yeshua, whether it's especially God the Father's, the Tetragrammaton name. Do not misuse it because you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. You must obey the Ten Commandments, the one and only law under the, that the Holy Spirit obeys under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Or otherwise you also will, you will not be sealed by God's seal. And you will be subject for destruction. You will be subject to God's wrath, to God's slaughter, to God's fury. Why? Because you renounce, you renounce the covenant of the blood of Jesus. Consciously and fully by going against what God says, do not do. Don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect my son, Jesus. Do not speak against the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the spirit of Jesus Christ. Is the spirit of God. Holy Spirit will never, ever, ever go and do, make someone go do the grain offering. Because then it's like, it's like, it's like taking a, taking a spear and, 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 and spearing your salvation, spearing, you're spearing Yeshua, Jesus, more on the cross, purposely. Not knowing and doing it is, is different than for those who, you know, do it consciously. And, and, and on purpose lie. And they lie also a lot by omission. They'll teach you verse for verse, but they'll skip all the teachings where, where God teaches you know how to, to take communion. That's, that's demonic, man. That is demonic. Demonic. Don't follow after people. Don't give them money, remember. Don't follow ministries that do not feed you. I might be small, but I feed you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth brought you here 
to feed you, to open up your eyes, your spiritual eyes, upon which if you're going to be disobedient, my brothers and sisters, only God, Jesus Christ, the son has the power to put spiritual scales upon our hearts, upon our souls, upon our spirits, upon our eyes and ears, spiritual eyes and ears, first and foremost. So remember, you want those scales to be gone because the devil has no power. The devil cannot maneuver the Holy Spirit. The devil cannot speak to the Holy Spirit. The devil cannot catch the Holy Spirit. It's a spirit of God. The devil's wicked evil spirits cannot hear Holy Spirit. They cannot hear anything or see anything that's holy. They can smell it. They can see it. If, for example, a holy angel would want to be seen. But with the Holy Spirit, they cannot hear it. They cannot hear Jesus Christ of Nazareth speaking inside of your mind, inside of your heart. And usually, like I said, it's not even going to be words. So be aware of all these different things. And, and don't compare yourself to me. I'm only sharing with you what either A, the Bible teaches or what I experience. Also... Remember that you are all at different, uh, you know, stages of learning. I've been only awakened for three and a half years, but God has told me a, a lot of things. He has awakened me to a lot of things. And as for the rest, I will be ever learning and always coming to conclusions, always concluding because I'm moldable, because I'm teachable. There's just so much to learn. And I'm so excited to brothers and sisters share all of this with you. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take a communion today in accordance to Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 27, or Luke 22, 19. Buy a grape juice for the, the represents, it will represent the blood of Jesus. It will be for the remission and eat the bread. It will be for in honor of the body of Jesus Christ, which is for remission of your sins. Because the, taking communion is represents a renewal of blood of Jesus covenant. Anyone against the blood of Jesus covenant is it's anyone who is against the communion because they are against Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The such person cannot skip Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his teachings and then do a biblical code and say that God, he has a computer program, so he's going to do biblical codes. As I said, bra Father has showed me, and again, don't kill the messenger here, how God Almighty, if you are not entitled to do biblical codes, you will not find anything godly in it. God has thought of all of everything, and undeserving people cannot do biblical codes. They, cannot, they do not represent Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth properly. Under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Jesus Christ of Nazareth as the only begotten son of Adonai, God of Israel, and also God in the flesh, the word of God in the flesh, will be finding foolishness. They will be finding things that are ridiculous. And they'll be swearing, well, that's what it says. Doesn't get more sure than this. It's in the code. It's in the code. Yes, it's in the code. But you know very well you don't believe on Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your God, as your Messiah, as your Lord and Savior. So don't expect to find things that Jesus Christ of Nazareth only supports and shows through the Holy Spirit. Because that would be not who our Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. Because that would be like rewarding a thief. That would like be rewarding a perversion. And our Father God, Jesus Christ the Son, doesn't reward perversion of any kind. Neither does he support it. Or, and especially, a rebellion. In fact, this is such things. It is a rebellion and teaching rebellion. Be aware of such people. Whether it's the code searcher, Jonathan, or whether it's someone else. Stay away from this wicked, evil people. Stay away from their delusions. Stay away from anyone who makes this covenants. Don't go looking them up. Don't listen to them. Don't, don't, brothers and sisters, get involved in anything that they do. Such people were not ordained to teach. They were not ordained to spread the narrow path. And this is first and foremost that they don't do it. Speaking about God and, yeah, are you sure? Are you sure? But they're loaded up with pride. They're loud. They're riding out on Leviathan. Literally, literally. Don't listen to such people who are trying to convince you that you must uh, uh, have regard for them because they are of rank. Or you must be fearful of them because they are of rank. 
No, be fearful only of those who speak the truth. And when they tell you something comes as a warning and then you see it, it's, it's coming. Be aware. You have regard for God's wisdom. You have regard for God's people filled with God's wisdom, filled with God's Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. Because God then will regard you because you regarded God. Because God rewards those who are his and he will always protect you. Don't come out of that protection by following after the wicked, by following after arrogance and pride and delusion. You are, no, you are not four years old that you, you don't know what a delusion is. You heard something that is contrary to the teaching or what Jesus was teaching or is an extra like some dimensional teachings about dimensions, about being in time and out of time. Will this save you? Is it for your salvation? Or is it, is it completely irrelevant to what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching? Or is it it's irrelevant to your salvation? Then again, you see, Satan has beguiled such people with, again, extra information, sprinkling, dwindling something shiny in front of you. I'm not saying you, but one of you have done this recently and you're listening to her Donna I'm speaking to you God's servant you are not I rebuke you in the name of Jesus beloved sister you are not speaking with God's Holy Spirit you are speaking with the enemy and I wrote you already this is the third and last time I'm right you because you're gonna eventually you're gonna be allowed to do what you want to do because you're gonna you do as thou will you love Jesus right you love Jesus you love God but you are you again this is how enemy beguiles us brothers and sisters by by pretending that you've been just you chosen for something special or that you are this biblical person like moses or archangel michael or archangel gabriel or archangel Raphael, or or you're the mary or you you know just things like that come on brothers and sisters yes some of those people are returning to the earth yes they're in in in, in flesh today but brothers and sisters Either way, trust me, if they are those people, they will not be broadcasting to the world because they will know by then already how the enemy operates and they will know that they would endanger themselves and their families. God is not a man, neither is the son of a man. God will not be mocked. I'll tell you that much, brothers and sisters. Yeshua loves you and Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the son, God in the flesh will lead you through this darkness and you will be guided to the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful streams of true living waters, to the fountain of waters who are the living waters. Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself will give you wisdom, will bless you with wisdom. So it will save you. It will protect you. Holy Spirit will speak through you. Jesus will speak through your Holy Spirit. And, and when you're going to be, God forbid, prosecuted or arrested, by, especially through wicked humans who took bribes or will take bribes, you will be okay. You will survive. Be confident who you are in Jesus Christ. Let this uplift your spirits. Be confident. My messages are, are tough. I understand. But brothers and sisters, I am so proud of every single one of you. I am so proud of you. Every time you are able to admit to yourself, man, I messed it up. Man, I did it wrong. Again, this is what this is all about. Learning what we do wrong and overcoming it and doing our best not to do it again. Especially if we messed up. And get down on your knees, apologize, ask for forgiveness. We are new creation, it's impossible to sin, but because we are surrounded by all kinds of unclean spirit, um, there is a situation or two where, where unfortunately you may say that bad word. It will happen. God knows that this is why he says, don't take communion in an undeserved matter. In other words, say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Prayer of Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. And still say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I repent of, 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 of whatever you've done wrong. Or just say, Father, if I have uh, accidentally sinned and I'm not aware of it, say you can say that too. Known, knowingly or unknowingly, please, Daddy God, forgive me in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, forgive me. And please help me to sin no more. Help me not to have bad thoughts. Help me, Father. I rebuke them all in the name of Jesus. Help, Father. Please block them in the name of Jesus. 
because I feel like they're not my own. Whatever it is, because they usually are not your own. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We all know that. So the, the, our heart must be purged. I say brothers and sisters right now every day because, you, again, the enemy cannot do a lot of things, majority of the things that he does. And God will eventually cut that down. If in some cases right away, God had enough of listening to his children crying. This is now why God, Jesus Christ, paid with his blood of Jesus for your flesh. So now your flesh can be as if, and of course it's impossible. You, this cannot be disputed, the covenant of the blood of Jesus. But I'm saying they want to they wanna say, oh, well, you need to earn this freedom. You need to earn this peace. No, you don't. You've been granted peace. It's part of your covenant. It's part of your inheritance. Your provision as a house, as your living quarters, that's your provision. The devil cannot dispute that. That's what God gave you. That's what you have. God's word is over and above spiritually over Satan's. And Satan is under our feet and so is everybody under him. And they cannot attack you. But if they do, you've been granted the power and authority to bind them with the name of Jesus and cast them out and then bind them, cast them into hellfire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And tell them to never come back here again. We are now in broken seals. And now more than ever, whatever they do against you will manifest as judgments. Period. Everything will. All of them were already sentenced. They're just adding on to their sentences with more. By, by father will have no choice. He said, I will avenge. I will avenge. So be, you, will be, you have to be avenged. Your children will be avenged. Pray for avengement. Pray for just to pray, pray, pray that Father God through Jesus Christ the Son that He will listen to His angels to assist you, to help you, to help your sons and daughters overcome. Because we are creating God's image. That's the whole point. They are dead spirits that are attacking us. Dead. They're dead. The dead are must lead the dead. They do not go come living with the with life humanity that serves Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's appalling to God the Father. Jesus Christ the Son. He will not allow it. The devil knows then what he's risking. When they're coming occupying your houses. Or your bedrooms. Trying to lay with you. With God's sons and daughters. Like they were invited. I'm digressing. Forgive me my brothers and sisters. I've experienced a lot of complaints. This past so many many weeks. With men and women who where attacks of incubus, succubus are, have increased. Be aware of them too, please. Or whatever spirits they are. I think they're called incubus, succubus. Again, I pray against you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wicked evil spirits. Be generous, brothers and sisters, and be courageous. Because only at the end, it's the plans of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that will, that will stand firm together. And the purposes of our Father God's Jesus Christ of Nazareth's heart will stand as they always stood through all, gener through all generations. Be generous and help the poor. Give thanks unto the Lord for he is good always. And his love endures forever for each and one of us. Stand still and consider the wondrous works of Father God Jesus, through Jesus Christ the Son every single day. Look at the leaf. Look at the petal. But praise God. Praise Jesus Christ. Don't praise or worship, God forbid, nature. That's new age. New age is a Jezebel demonic doctrine come out of it now I pray that you all come out of these demonic doctrines in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and remember that gener generosity will be always rewarded give a cup of water and you will receive a cup of water in return Proverbs 11 verse 25 for example because the, the Lord our Heavenly Father will indeed give only what is good Psalm 85 verse 10 stand firm and let nothing move you Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. We never labor in vain. Your sufferings are purchasing you beautiful, mighty things in heaven. Your sufferings are actually a part of sacrifice. So if you are not fasting and, for example, loyalty is better than sacrifice. For example, fasting is sacrifice. Suffering, physical pain is sacrifice. There's variations of sacrifice. Praise and worship is also sacrifice. It's an excuse me. It's an offering. 
it could be a sacrifice if you're praising and worshiping while in pain. Of course it can be. All of those brothers and sisters, simply don't worry about any of it. Allow your heart that is beautiful and merciful, full of generosity and love for your brothers and sisters to guide you, to lead you. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you because the heart can be wicked. So unless you know you're purging that heart daily, you know, don't trust it. Pray for Holy Spirit guidance. Carry the cross. Ask to carry the cross and carry the cross. It will be painful. We all must experience three baptisms. Baptism of water, baptism of the, excuse me, Holy Spirit, baptism of water and baptism of fire. Don't forget that. You're not going to, you cannot go to heaven unless you go through all three. And the majority of you, you did not experience three types of baptisms. And you will. You will. The more you suffered, you probably had baptism of fire. Especially if you suffered and you are an over you were overcoming your wicked evil personality traits your the wickedness of your heart no matter how little it was how small it was did you overcome or did you did you did you you know uh, in other words if you were if you had issues with anger did you work on that anger did you just allow it to overtake you the Jezebel spirit or did you fought that as Jezebel spirit to come out of you and it's been years and years and you and and now she attacks you because you've been attacked because you overcame her that's what it means to be an overcomer keep on overcoming any kind of wickedness evil in you because that's from satan that's from demons that's from devils and remember that satan will use anything against us brothers and sisters speak only love and life even against the people and especially against the people that you still dislike because they've done you wrong but you forgive them Speak, speak love and life over them because maybe God will see how much you love them. Don't you see that then God can soften up their hearts and then a wicked, evil person turns into a good person and then you, you can have a great, beautiful neighbor next door as opposed to a wicked one. And then the devil cannot no longer stay in that wicked evil house next door. See, if you live, for example, in, 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 in large buildings, in large city, where houses are one on the top of another, or people live in one big house, share uh, your rental rooms or, 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 or flats, or, you know, that's important. It's important to have good neighbors. Be a godly neighbor. I love you so much, brothers and sisters. Happy Shabbat day. Please take communion. But repent prior to it. Lord Jesus is inside of your heart, mind, body, soul, spirit. I love you. Bye-bye.